In this video, we're going to be looking at animation in Blender. We're going to be taking this car and getting it to drive through the trees and stop next to the snowman in about four seconds. The first thing you should do when you're animating is just check where your camera is. At the moment, my camera's up here. It looks okay, so let's check to see what, it, what this shot looks like. If I hit F12 on my keyboard, you can see immediately that it's a little bit wrong. We quite like to see the rest of the snowman. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to lower my camera very, very slightly. So what we do is we select the camera, we rotate a little bit, and we'll just drop it to about there. A bit more maybe. Okay, how's that? Okay, that's quite a nice shot. So the car's going to drive from here, and four seconds later it's going to be here. And to animate, what we use is something called key framing. Key framing looks at particular images at certain times in a movie and the computer works out all the other images in between. So if I were to say that the car starts here and four seconds later it's going to be here, the computer would work out a way of driving the car from this location to this location. I wouldn't have to do all those frames myself. If you ever done stop frame animation, you have to do all the frames yourself. With a computer, the computer works it out for you. At the bottom, I have my timeline. And at the moment, we have 250 frames. So 250 images that this computer will output for the animation. That's quite a lot. So 250 is a bit over 10 seconds. We don't want that long. We only want something which is a bit over 4 seconds. And something a bit over 4 seconds is about 100. So we've got 100 frames there at 24 frames a second. And we're going to have a car starting here at frame 0 and ending here at about frame 90. So here's our first, our first key frame, the first image that we want our computer to remember. And we're going to say, at 0, remember that you're here. And to get the car to remember where, sorry, to get the computer to remember where the car is, what we do is we go to the keys, we click on them, and we say we're going to record the location, the rotation, and the scale. So the computer will work out where the car is, its location, which way it's facing is rotation and it's scale if you want to make the car shrink or grow. So we'll leave it like that. And as it's our first keyframe, we hit the little key just to the right hand side. Okay, so we've now got our first keyframe. You can see it by the yellow bar. At about frame 90, what we want is we want the car to be next to the snowman. So what we do is we move the, the timeline at the bottom where the green line is to be 90 and then, and only then, do we move the car. Oops, let's just go get it here. Move the car next to the snowman. So at 90, the car is now in the right location. And again, we hit the key. So we have a yellow line here at zero, a yellow line at about 90. And what the computer does, rather cleverly, is it works out all the other steps in between the two. So if I press play, the car drives from one side to the other. That's looking pretty good to me. Um, however, we do have an issue here. If I just press pause. We want to get the car to go around the tree. And at the moment, it smacks directly into the tree. So what I think we need to do is, I think we need to get the car to drive here first. So at about, well, maybe about 40 frames, two seconds in, we're going to go here and then we're going to swerve around and go that way. So at 40 frames, we don't want the car to be in the middle of the tree. We want the car to be over here. So it's driving round. And then we can go and park up next to the snowman. And when we've got that nice and settled, what we do is we just hit the key again. And we have now a yellow, a yellow, and a yellow. So let's see how this works. If I press play, the car drives where it wants to go. Now, you may be thinking that the angle of the car, the rotation of the car, isn't perfect. And I think you're probably right. So we can try and fix that. And to fix that, what we do is we go to this keyframe, and I'm actually going to delete it just for a second by hitting the little key with a line going through it. And at this point, what I want the car to do is I want the car to rotate as well. So using our curve down here, our rotate function, we can get the car to rotate very slightly and we'll move it across here and then what happens is oh sorry what I forgot to do there was I forgot to keyframe it 
So let's go back again. Let's do that. Let's rotate it. Okay. And we'll move it there. And I hit the keyframe again. And all of a sudden, I have a car driving in and swerving along. Now, that, as you can probably tell, isn't ideal. Um, but if it's driving on ice, maybe that's what it could be doing. It's going to look a bit funny, but it's good enough for now.